Capture the objective. Yo, what's your boy? Call Duty Fries here, and today we got Domination. I'm using the AN94, and I kind of wanted to show this video that you don't need to be good to get some awesome, amazing kill streaks. As you can see here, like this game, I think is a perfect example. It's almost nothing spectacular, but my end score ends up being pretty crazy. So, watch as I go through this. The thing is, this footage is kind of boring, but that's kind of the point of it too. It's just by playing smart and picking out the right spots and being able to get a lot of points. So we go jump on B because my teammates are. So that's some easy 200 points. That's the equivalent of two kills right off the start. I see the guys are on A, so I'm rushing over there. Trying not to die, so I see there's multiple guys, so I'm just going to chill back here, wait for them to pop up. Oh, easy two-piece. And I have silencer, honestly, I don't know where I'm at. So I know guys are coming around, I just saw the UAV. We're losing this fight. Losing B. Oh, the guy walks right past me, just no idea I'm there. So look at that, I've almost got my sentry already, and I haven't really done anything. Okay, I know a guy's coming on. Jump on the flag, get another 200 points because I was on the flag when I killed him. If I can get this flag right here, boom, sentry already. I haven't done anything spectacular. I've killed every single dude from the back or every guy just walking past me. So it's like, holy crap. So I'm already at a century. Minute and a half in. And look at that. Two guys are chilling on the flag. And they don't want to see me chill next to the car. So obviously there's a lot of camping going on this game. Oh, right there. I almost blew it. I got so lucky on that kill. And I finally died. But look at that. I already got all my crap going. And it's so early, I'm going to put it all up. Throw that crap over B. And then uh, these back corners I found are amazing for centuries. Your kill streaks are what's going to get you guys the ton of kills, so you have to get them. So if that means you got to do some camping, you got to do it. And now that I got my kill streaks working for me, I can use those to get more kill streaks. So here we go. Again, I haven't killed one dude straight on yet. Every kill's been from the side, a guy not expecting it. I guess I had that one where I like mistimed it, jumped into the guy, but I just got lucky. So the whole key to getting these kill streaks is having easy gunfights. The whole thing to having easy gunfights is either you have the advantage, like here if I'm going against a submachine gun, that's just kind of out of their range, so I have the advantage. Obviously as they get closer over there, they have the advantage. They turn with the shotgun, they have a huge advantage. So I'm going to stay further enough, far enough back that the assault rifle is definitely the best weapon of choice. And here it's good range for an assault rifle. Obviously if there's a sniper, I can see him and most likely move out of the way unless he's camping that window. And like I'm already halfway to the century again, I've mean, only killed like what, one dude this life? My team's jumping on A so I'm going to try to get there, try to get there. Boom, I'm so pumped that I didn't miss that flag. So it's another 200 points. Okay, and I see the whole team's back in this corner. So this corner right here, I can chill, watch the guy FC, walk right through. I ended up not getting the kill on that, but still. That would have been another easy kill with the dude who been looking at me. Okay, I know the whole team. This has been lucky too, is my my team's using like UAV the entire time. So I pretty much know where all their guys are at. So that's huge. Using UAV oh, okay, here we go. See I see a guy in the corner coming over. So I know there's a dude chilling. Look at that. Another kill the guys aren't even paying attention. So I already got my second century. Uh there's a minute fifteen left. So at this point I'm probably just gonna hold it. Cause chances are I'm not gonna double up on a century and I'll have it to start the round, which is always good. Okay, I see their guys are heading over to A. They're about to capture it. Securing Alpha. Okay, my teammates actually just killed them, so it's wide open. This is another easy capture. Look at that. Another 200 points. I get one more kill, and I have a freaking stealth chopper again. Counter UAV inbound. Losing. Okay, so I knew dude's over there. I don't want to jump out front, so I'm gonna let my teammate take the shots if he can. All right, he gets by decent. Okay, there's a guy going on A. Losing a. So I see that. I see him pop up on the dot. He's not going to know I'm here most likely, so I shoot. Oh, he actually almost got me, but still, I have a good advantage there, because I know where he is. He doesn't know where I'm coming from. So I got the stealth chopper to end the round. See this guy face the wrong way. Almost choke it, but again, another easy kill. So I have all my streaks to start the next round. At this point, I'm just trying not to die. So I'm just like, even if I have to hide. Okay, maybe get another easy pickup. 
see, I died, but oh well, because I got all my streaks, and I pretty much didn't even start over. I'll try to get them again. So I ended around 29 and 2. And I start with all my streaks, so it's already looking good for us. And as you guys can see, like, there's a decent amount of camping going on. I'm not, not going to argue that by any means. But it's just so many easy kills. I've only gone in, like, a couple gunfights. Secure the objective. And here I'm gonna try to pick up an easy 50 points right away. 50 points isn't a lot, but hey, it's guaranteed. I love these back corners on this map for the sentry gun. And a lot of guys don't use EMP, so sentries kind of go to town depending on who you're playing against. Okay, I'm gonna throw this up over B. This thing is just destroying on B. And then sometimes I'll throw the escort drone right away, sometimes I'll hold it. Okay, I see their guys over at A, they're coming around the side. Alright, teammate got him. Friendly UAV inbound. Okay, again, we got another UAV. So UAV is so huge on this, because I know where the guys are at the whole time. And I'm not using UAV, luckily, which gives me more kills. But my teammates are running this, so it's helping me out huge. I think I choked that bad. One of, like, the couple gunfights I'm in, I lose. Okay, see that one? The guy's turned the wrong way. So again, if you can pick out guys where they don't know exactly where you're coming from, it's so huge. Alright, there we go. I see the dude in the window. If I get a kill here, that's another 200 easy points. I got all my... I got my escort drone. I got my stealth chopper protecting me. Okay, there we go. 200. Captured it. Another 200. And then all the kills from the choppers on top of it. So obviously all they have is A. So their whole team's going to be spawned over there. Except my guys are over there now, so now they're switching spawns to a neutral location where they're dying less. Again, look at that. Two kills from behind. Sentry gun ready for deployment. I see dude under the building. I know where he's at. He doesn't know where I'm at. Boom, another easy kill. Thanks for the work. UAV inbound. Look at that. Got in a gunfight and I lose. So my gunfights in this game have actually been terrible, which is really funny. But I've gotten so many easy kills from behind, from the side, when they're not expecting me. A lot of it too is my setup, I'm not going to lie, uh, I always run silencer because I hate when dudes run towards the red dot. And then I run ghost because when you're in a team deathmatch or you're in domination, some guy on the team always has UAV. Okay, so I'm trying to get my sentry in this back corner here because I already have one in the other corner. And then as soon as I get that up, teammate on there, it's another two easy 200 points. All flag secure. Okay, the only position. problem at this point is we are triple capped, so I'm gonna get less, less kills here. But as far as, like I said, trying to get your streaks, look how easy this has been. All I've been doing is like looking where the team's at on the map, sneaking around, so pretty much getting easy captures. And the ones I'm not, we have UAV, so I know where the guys are coming from, and it's giving me a few hundred extra points. Okay, look for the red dots here. So all I'm doing is waiting. Okay, look, I see there's a dude in the building. Boom, another hundred. Easy kill. I know right where he's at, he doesn't know where I'm at. Okay, I see dude chilling over there. Mass Sentry picks him up though. There's another guy heading over here, see if he does anything. Mission almost complete. Don't quit now. Okay, this part I actually blew it. I didn't know you could only have two sentries. So when I put up the third sentry, it destroyed my first one, which is actually in a better spot. That's you just chilling back there. Hostiles have destroyed your sentry gun. And then they destroyed a sentry gun, so that cost me two of them. So now I'm down to one at this point. I should just held it until I got one destroyed. They get A, which should have been good, but it's too late at that point. There you go, easy 60 and 4. And I pretty much did nothing spectacular. I think I only won, like, maybe half the gunfights I was in, if even. So it was just so many easy kills sneaking up on guys. Obviously, a little bit of camping. As you notice, most of the time I get within one or two kills, I always camp. Because, like, your chances of killing the guy are so much higher. And then as soon as you get those streaks, you got to easy so many more kills coming. So an easy 60 and 4, nothing spectacular, very little skill. You guys can do it. Just uh, take the easy captures, get the capture kills when you can, and just play smart.
And on the funny note, look at that. I killed that one dude 21 times. He was 21 and 1 against me. He's minus 20. I'm a plus 20 off of 1, dude. That's the most I've ever killed one guy. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, subscribe.